Hey guys, I'm Becky from Book Bite Reviews, and today I'm telling you what's on my September TBR. <laughs> excited for September because September 1st for me marks the beginning of fall. I know that technically like September 20 something is the first day of fall but for me it's September 1st and I'm just ready for all of the fallness. I can't wait for Labor Day weekend because that's when I decorate for Halloween and I'm just ready for it guys. I also have another reason to be very excited for this month that is bookish related that we will get to in a bit but let's go ahead and dive into the books that I have to read this month. The first book that I have to read this month is for review and it is Claiming the Succubus by Lorian Lynn. I was sent this book in exchange for an honest review from Silver Dagger Book Tours and I cannot wait to get into it. This book is about a half succubus who is a bounty hunter for the paranormal and she's on the hunt for a rogue werewolf but things are not exactly what they seem. By the time this video goes up, I will have a review vlog that is coming out just a couple days later, so if you're seeing this, keep an eye out for my review of this book. Next up are my book club books. So the first one in my official book club pick this month is Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. I'm very excited to get into this book. I've been wanting to read it for a very long time and just haven't gotten around to it. And now I have my opportunity. So this book is about a teenage girl and when she was nine years old, her and her mother were babysitting a white baby who unfortunately passed away in their care. Our main character was then arrested at nine years old for the death of the baby and now she is a teen who has just been let out of baby jail and is now dumped into a group home. But the real mystery is did our main character have anything to do with the baby's death? I am expecting this book to talk about race, to talk about the justice system, and also some pretty darker topics since we do have a death of an infant. So I am morbidly very, very excited for this book. The other book for my book club, which is our bonus book because it was the book that we were supposed to pick pre-COVID, but now I need to pick books that are available on our e-resources, is I Know You Remember by Jennifer Donaldson. I read Lies You Never Told by Jennifer Donaldson last year and I loved it a lot, like a ridiculous amount. I really truly love that book. I think it was last year, might have been the year before, but I think it was last year. So when I saw that she was coming out with another book, I got extremely excited. This one sounds just as good as the last one and I cannot wait to get into it. This book is about a girl who goes back to her hometown in Alaska and finds out that her best friend is missing. She disappeared just a couple days earlier from a party and she's determined to find out what exactly happened to her. Now the more people that she talks to she realizes that the girl that she left behind is not the same girl that she used to be and as she dives deeper into this dark mysterious world that her friend was now living in she finds out that maybe what happened to her friend is better left buried. Now if this is anything like lies you never told me, uh, it's gonna be very dark, very twisted, and I really hope that is the case because that is exactly what mood I'm in. While perusing Instagram, I did come across a readathon that I am very excited to be participating in. It takes place in September and October, and you basically have 10 days to read a book that fits the theme for that week. The name of this readathon is the Spooky Bookathon. It is being hosted by Captivated Pages, Bookish Opinion, and The Dragon Horde. The really cool thing is all of the themes are kind of spooky, and it forces you to read horror, paranormal, or thriller, and I just cannot wait to get into it. So for September there are three prompts. The first one is to read a paranormal fantasy. So for that I will be reading Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is, I think, if I remember correctly, a Greek gods sort of retelling. As we all know, I freaking love Jennifer L. Armentrout. She's my favorite author. This is a book in a series that I have been wanting to get into for a very, very long time. The entire series is out. The spinoff series is out. I need to start it. The next prompt is to read a dark academia book. For this I had no idea what to read, so I found this book on Goodreads that I'm hoping turns out to be a good choice. It may change if I'm not getting into the book, but for now it is People Like Us by Dana Mealy. 
This book is about a school that is filled with these rich, privileged kids who basically do whatever it takes in order to succeed, including possibly murder. So one of our characters that we are following she, I believe in her past, has killed somebody and nobody really knows. One of the taglines for the book is the truth is what we say it is, I think. That might be like a, a loose retelling of that line. But basically the book is these rich kids telling lies in order to get away with these awful things. And will they come out on top? We will find out. And the last prompt for September is to read a thriller, and for that I will be reading Till Death by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This book is about, from what I remember, a woman who is being hunted by a serial killer, and now he has come back to finish her off. And it is, I think, an alternating point of view between her and the detective who is supposed to protect her, but is also falling for her if I'm not mistaken. So needless to say, I'm extremely excited about this readathon. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys are participating as well, and tell me what books you plan to read for the prompts this month. And lastly, just to hold myself accountable, these aren't books that I have to read, but books that I really, 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 really want to read, thus putting it in this video to hopefully force myself to do it. Now, I think that these books were possibly in last month's TBR, so as we have found out, uh, I don't feel a lot of guilt for what I say in these TBRs, but maybe this month I will. So the first one I would really like to read is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas. I would really like to get to this book. I cannot wait. I want to continue on with the series. And there is another book coming out either at the end of this year or at the beginning of 2021. So this needs to happen. Next, I'm embarrassed to say that I still haven't read this book, is Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. Um. Yep, still haven't read it. Wicked Saints was my favorite book of 2019 and still haven't gotten around to the sequel. I'm uh, I'm super excited to read it, but I just feel like I need to be at the right mental space and time in order to dive into this and pick it up because I know it's going to take me a little bit to get into it. I know I'm going to want to take my time and I just feel like I need to be ready. I feel like I'm getting there. Hopefully it happens soon though. And last but not least, if you could have kind of tell from my readathon TBR, I want to make September a Jennifer L. Armentrout month. So besides the other books that I would really like to get to or have to get to this month, I want to really focus on Jennifer L. Armentrout. There are a lot of books on her backlog that I have not yet read. Basically, pretty much all these books right here on my Jennifer L. Armentrout shelf. I think a majority I have read at this point, but still there's a big chunk on here that I haven't read, as well as other books that I still don't even own. But all right guys, that is everything that I would like to try and read in September. I'm hoping that September is a really great month, not only for reading, but also for content wise. I accidentally went on a two week hiatus in August where I was producing content, but um, just never edited and uploaded it. So. <laughs> September is going to be a little bit of a backlog of videos on top of trying to also fit in new content, and I just hope that I don't go on another one of these unexpected hiatuses. Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys are hoping to read in September. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, you want to see more bookish content from me, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified as soon as my videos go live here on YouTube, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Yeah.